So you're a new MacBook M1 owner, or perhaps you're looking at buying one of these new machines and you might have come across a bunch of articles talking about how the SSDs in those computers could actually die rather quickly and render those laptops useless because of a problem with swap memory usage in these computers. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what swap memory is, how and why it could potentially affect you, and does it even matter? And should you even care about this problem to begin with? So before we can define what swap memory is, we need to at least have a general understanding of what an SSD is and what RAM is. And I'm, I'm sure you guys know, but let's define it quickly. RAM stands for random access memory and the programs that we install and run on these computers are running off the available RAM on the laptop. May it be the eight gigabyte or 16 gigabyte RAM model that you purchase for your M1 Mac. The other component is the SSD SSD, or in long form, the solid state drive. That's just the hard drive. That's where you store your files and applications on your computer. So now that we understand this, let's define what swap memory actually is. Swap memory is the process of which an operating system is providing more memory to run applications than is available on the physical random access memory, being our RAM, via the internal hard drive, our SSD. So in the simplest terms, it means that if we have a bunch of programs open or we have really intensive RAM applications open and the total required RAM needed to achieve the task is greater than the amount of physical RAM available, either in the eight gigabyte RAM model that we have, or if you bought the 16 gigabyte model, then the Mac operating system is gonna resort to using the internal SSD hard drive and actually write data data onto there to compensate and still have these applications run efficiently. So people online are concerned because SSD hard drives have a lifespan. And the more you're writing to this SSD, the shorter the lifespan that there will be on your hard drive. And whenever you are running applications where there isn't enough physical memory to actually run these efficiently and Mac OS is constantly writing data to your internal hard drive to run these programs efficiently, there's a concern that you're shortening the lifespan of your SSD, but not just that, that you're rather squishing, like minimizing the lifespan of your SSD rather quickly, or at least so they say and, and make you lead you to believe in these articles and um, these videos. So does this matter and should you care? Well, let's look at the data and instead of using the data that these articles and videos are using, which honestly I think they're using very extreme scenarios and honestly just scaring people, we're gonna use my data. We're gonna look at my MacBook Air M1 base model, eight gigabytes, and I'm the kind of person that has been editing 4K videos on this every week, every few days and make a new video. So we're gonna see how my MacBook Air has held up over these last four months. So my data tells me that I've written 14.9 terabytes total to my internal SSD drive in my computer. And it also says that I've used 1% of the effective lifespan of my SSD hard drive within four months, because that's how long I've owned this computer now. So if we do some basic math, 1% every four months is 3% a year, which means that I have roughly 32, 33 years left of effective life in my hard drive in this computer if I was to continue using it as is, which is making and editing 4K videos every few days and you know heavy usage like that. So based on this data, I think you and I, watching this video right now can conclude that there isn't really a problem here for people like me who are just making videos every few days or people like you who might not even be doing that type of work. You might just have more general uses on your MacBook. You shouldn't be worried at all with this swap memory problem. And to kind of tie it all together, the useful life of laptops anyways is anywhere from five to seven years. Like typically people, don't keep computers that long anyways. Like I'm, I don't plan on keeping my MacBook for 30 years. So even if I was to write even more data to this computer more often, I, I would have to write a ridiculous amount of data to get the lifespan of this SSD to die on me within two or three years, which is, uh, which would have been a really short period of time because people typically hold on to computers up to five to seven years on average. But, but again, that's a really niche scenario. And I don't think any of us, I mean, probably a tiny fraction of us 
fit into that slot. And if you do, like you're probably not even watching this video. So now that we've concluded that swap memory isn't really something you should worry about, I kind of wanted to turn it on its head and, and show you why swap memory actually is part of the reason why these Macs are so efficient and why they're incredibly fast. So what the Mac operating system is actually doing is it's taking less intensive application processes and offloading it from your RAM and putting it on your SSD as swap memory and freeing up your physical memory space on your RAM for more pressing important tasks that you're actively doing. So really what your computer is doing is whatever active task you're on, it's freeing up more physical RAM to apply to that active task so you can do that task as fast as possible. And that's a, that's a good thing. And under normal day-to-day -day conditions that most of us will be using these laptops in, even in some professional workflows like video editing, photo editing, and coding, I really think that this swap memory stuff isn't going to pose a problem to you considering the fact that we replace laptops anyways every five to seven years and you really need to write a ton of data to kill your SSD before that timeline that I just mentioned. So in conclusion, this isn't a real issue. You shouldn't be concerned. And people who actually are having swap memory issues are buying the wrong machine to begin with because these are entry level computers. Like these are geared toward like just the everyday person who probably and might want to do some professional work as well. Like that's who this is marketed to, a do it all desktop experience not an extreme, let's write a ton of data and kill our SSD in two and a half years kind of user. Uh, so that's my two cents. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Comment hashtag M1Mac if you finished today's video. Drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to our channel. We are on our road to 13,000 subscribers. We are so, so close. So any support would be greatly appreciated. But anyways, I'll catch all of you guys in a future video this week. Stay safe, everybody, and we'll talk soon. Peace.